This video is going to demonstrate how to graph a straight line using the gradient intercept method. In the first example, we are going to graph the line y equals a quarter x minus 1. This equation is written in the form y equals mx plus c, which we call the gradient intercept form of an equation, as we can easily determine the gradient and the y-intercept of a line when an equation is written in this way. So before we get straight into graphing, let's determine whether the line has a positive or a negative gradient. The way we tell this is by looking at the number in front of the x, or the coefficient of x. This number tells us the gradient of the line, so if it's a positive number, then the line will have a positive slope. If it's a negative number, the line will have a negative slope. In this example, the gradient is positive, so we now know what direction our line will be going. The gradient is 1 quarter. Because we know that the gradient is defined as the rise over the run, we therefore know that our rise is going to be 1 and our run will be 4. And we will run to the right as the gradient is positive. Our y-intercept is the constant or the c value in an equation and is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. In this example, our y-intercept is negative 1. Now, let's start graphing. Our first step is to plot the y-intercept, so let's put a cross on the y-axis at negative 1. This point now becomes a starting point from where we rise and run. So from negative 1, we are going to rise 1 unit and run to the right 4 units to create a positive line. This is where we mark down our second point. As soon as you have marked down two points, you can draw a line connecting the two points. It's good practice to extend your line beyond these points, to put arrows on either end of the line to indicate the line continues on in both directions, and to write the equation on the line. And so there you have the line y equals a quarter x minus 1. Now on to our second example. We will be graphing the line y equals negative 3x plus 1. So looking at the number in front of the x, we can see that it is a negative 3, indicating that our line will have a negative gradient. OK, so let's now fill in that the gradient will be negative 3. Now to write a whole number as a fraction, we just write it with a denominator of 1. So to write negative 3 in rise over run form, we will have a rise of 3 and a run of 1. And this time we will run to the left as the gradient is negative and we want to create a negative line. Our y-intercept is going to be positive 1. So again, our first step is to mark on the number plane our y-intercept, which is at positive 1. From this point, we are then going to rise 3 units and run to the left 1 unit. This is where we mark our second point. Now that we have two points, we can connect these points to create a straight line that satisfies the equation y equals negative 3x plus 1. 